When I enter this mosque, I'd say the obvious answer is it feels like home because I've been coming here for 20 plus years. It's almost like walking into your own house. The building shapes um, the community because um, it's a building and before we moved in it used to be a pub and now being turned into a place of worship. The old mosque was a uh, two terrace house. They make uh, together and one like one mosque. In the post-war decades, all kinds of as found buildings were adapted and converted to mosques. Cinemas, factories, pubs, houses. As these spaces were reshaped, a new kind of architecture was emerging, a grassroots, self-built architecture of appropriation and improvisation. My first memory of the Brick Lane Mosque, uh, it, it, it wasn't as beautiful now. It was very much, you know, having acquired the building, it was in a poor condition. The radiators wasn't always working. So the evening madrasa in the winter time, we would be double jacket jacketing up. Um, it, was, it, was, it was a bit of a dingy place. Uh, but nevertheless, it was it was safe space. This was the architecture of resilience, and these mosques have played a key role in the reconstruction of identity for Muslim communities across the country. By combining Islamic visual culture with as-found buildings, they have given us a new architectural language of hybrid meanings and creative possibilities. And uh, there was a big hall downstairs for the for the men's and uh, outside, like garden side, they, they, we put some plastic sheets and metal sheets and we make like room, big room for Friday prayer. Involvement of women is very, very crucial, is very, very good. Those are my perceived women, you know, empowering women, empowering community, and then bring women more, like what Okentro is doing to the community so that the community can benefit because whenever a woman is, it's like you build a house with a solid foundation and a solid pillar on the building. As Muslim communities have become established, a growing number of these first ad hoc mosques are being replaced with larger purpose-built buildings, heralding a new phase of British Islamic architecture. So in this exhibition, we are drawing, scanning and reconstructing the ad hoc mosque. Life-sized replicas of key elements offer physical and spatial engagement whilst high-resolution scans document the built fabric. This is a stage of Britain's multicultural story, and it is also a homage to the generation of migrants who have added another vivid layer to this country's architectural history.